welcome back ladies and gentlemen to bitcoin daily today we are doing a market analysis in five minutes so we're doing a five minute quick market analysis there's been a lot of movement today and yesterday so in the last 24 hours um so let's just jump right in as you can as you guys can see bitcoin is up about a, a percent and a half today up to 10,600 range ethereum's up almost two percent back to the three 345 range um, XRP is flat. Bitcoin Cash, uh, it's pretty flat. Uh, Polkadot up 3%. Uh, Binance, not really much movement. Chainlink, guys. Chainlink is back up to 11%. Um, crypto up 1%. And Litecoin barely moved. Um, so that's pretty much it for the top 10. And that's all we're going to be covering today. Um, so let, let's go ahead and jump into the charts here. We're almost at the minute mark. Uh, as you guys can see here, uh, after the drop, it started going up, and then because we're correlated with the stock market in, right now, um, we did see a drop and a continuation drop here um, yesterday in the last 24 hours. Um, so we had that drop, but today the stock market is green, so we also got a green candle here. Uh, as you can see, we're all right on the support. You see the support right here? This support started off in march of this year march 20 march 13th 2020 uh that's the pandemics uh line so this support has gone all the way up uh it supported it here and we're seeing that it's holding up here in uh addition to the fibonacci retracement line uh 61.8 percent so uh that's currently what we're watching right now um if we're looking for an entry we're looking probably to enter closer to the support uh, at the 10,500 to 10,400 range. Uh, if not, then we're looking for a breakout entry above 10,800, which is above uh, this Fibonacci level, the 50% Fibonacci level. Um, so we're looking at those are basically the two trades we're looking at in Bitcoin at the moment. Um, let's jump over to Ethereum. Ethereum has a very, very similar chart here. Um, as you can see, we had the, the drop. We had we had the the Fibonacci level support right here, 61.8%, uh, which we were we've been testing in the last day, and it looks like it's holding up so far. Um, so if you're looking for an entry here, uh, probably looking at an entry above 350. Uh, well, so you're looking at a support of around 330-ish to 320, 320, 330 ish is a support entry breakout entries above 350 and then another one above 360 uh, those are the two breakout entries your targets would be three your target will be 380 um, and 390 and 400 will be your three targets there um, in Bitcoin cash like I said there's not much movement not much going on I'm not gonna even waste time trying to trade it right now uh, same thing with Litecoin, just not not much movement to trade off of right now. Not really interested in it. Same pattern in uh, XRP, Ripple, not much going on. Pretty flat uh, until it gets back up here. I just have no interest. Um, here we go, uh, Chainlink. So I know a lot of you were worried about Chainlink. It was dropping, 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 like if there was no end in sight. Um, but we did drop into the $7 range, uh, which I spoke about in the last analysis I did. I said if you're looking to uh, do a support entry, $7 was your next support entry here, which is where we're currently at. And I also told you guys if we dropped below $10, I'd sell my positions because we're probably dropping to $7. And look guys, wow, am I a magician or some sort of wizard, guys? what in the world but anyways uh we're jumping back up right now uh we're right before this ten dollar support if you're looking for a breakout entry i would enter above ten dollars um and then your targets are going to be eleven dollars twelve thirteen and that's basically it uh, those will be your short-term targets there um looking at tezos tezos is just still just dropping guys i just i'm just not interested in this right now um, I I just don't like it, so I'm not looking for an entry there. Uh, Neo, let's see where's Neo at. Neo's at 21, so we're back above $20. Uh, $20 was the support there uh, for the entry. 
uh, 19 was also a good support so 20 to 19 was a support here um, and a, a breakout entry would be above $20 so if you're looking for a support entry now you're looking back within as close to $20 as possible uh, for a breakout entry uh probably looking above 22 almost at 23 so i probably wouldn't be looking for breakout entries right now just because it's it's the the reward is not high enough for if you're entering a breakout entry at 23 you have a three dollar uh target and a three dollar stop it's not not doesn't fit my criteria um and that's it guys that is the five minute mark uh five minute mark mark oh my goodness i can't say my words right today um but uh but yeah so we we went over the so, some of the top coins uh you know we don't always go into too much with these five minute reviews uh but it's just to give you guys some trade ideas and uh on what you can see next um today is thursday i believe right today's thursday so we'll see what the market gives us tomorrow uh, and tomorrow we have a tutorial coming out that we're working on um, But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Please make sure to subscribe make sure to hit that follow make sure to drop a comment uh, You know any ideas you guys have send them to us uh, And we'll be doing a live stream this weekend as well. So man, we're on the grind. We're on the ball We're getting shit done. So just keep following us. We'll keep grinding for you guys. All right guys. Peace and love. Thank you